this takes us back to pre-calculus a little bit. I have factored the denominator. The numerator was already factored. And we can see that the x minus 3 factor is the exact same top and bottom. That can be canceled out. But before it does, that's a whole or a removable discontinuity. And that occurs at x equals 3, because 3 minus 3 would have us be 0 over 0. That's our indeterminate case. So we know we have E. We similarly can't divide by 0. And x equals a negative 3 would cause us to divide by 0. That would be a number over zero, that's going to be a vertical asymptote. So that gives g. And the last one, zero divided by any number equals zero, and that will only happen when x equals zero. We wouldn't ask for zeros in the problem, but we would then have a zero or a x intercept at x equals 0, a vertical asymptote at x equals negative 3, and a hole at x equals positive 3. You were asked for when this function is not continuous. Well, we're not continuous where we have a hole, and we're not continuous where we have a vertical asymptote. So these two cases were not continuous, and so we would also choose 3 and negative 3. So those are the four answers to this problem and why.